Hey everyone, we are here at Painted Rocks Campground. It is a part of the Yuba Lake State Park, which is right next to Yuba Lake. If you're new here, pitch a tent on that subscribe button. We would love to have you along for all of our adventures. Now, as you can see on the right here, we've got the State Park sign right outside the entrance and the fee station. So let's make our way into the campground. This is an OHV area. There's actually a whole system of trails that connects to different uh, spots so you can go riding around and whatnot. And the Oasis Campground, that's that big uh, billboard right there for the Oasis Campground, uh, is where it has that zip line that they're advertising. Coming in here at the fee station, I will take a picture of that board so you can see all of the costs right up on the screen there for you. And it's kind of interesting how they've got everything set up here. They've got one site right outside the, uh, the rest of the campground, and it's like a double site. Right now, it's not doing anything. They've got the, the board covered up for it. And kicking off for the campground is the dump station. Right now, the water is turned off because there is a pump issue. So right now, there is no potable water. But it is a free dump station while you're here. So you can see on our left, you can come in either side. And it is a very clean dump station that they've got. Uh, just one hole in the ground, though. So you would have to take a turn if you were waiting for somebody on the other side. One of the nice things about being right here at Yuba Lake is that if you've got a boat with you also, you can just put it in the water and play around while you're here. And that's gonna be down that road. We're gonna pull into the campground right here though. These trash cans are the only ones for the entire campground. If you are parked a bit far away, then you might have to drive over or make the long walk. Starting out on the loop to the right is sites one through 22. And I will put in the description below a link to each of the sites. So you can just jump ahead if needed. And if you are interested in staying here, I will also have a link in the description below on uh, Reserve America so that you can get your site here. As you can see, it is paved the entire way through. Uh, there's only a handful of back-end sites. Most of these are pull-through. There's not a designated one way for the roads. So depending on if you're on the right or the left side, etc., cetera, uh, just make the loop around for however you're needing to pull into your site. There are a lot of larger sites here as well. Uh, as you can see on the right right now, these guys actually put two rigs into that one site. Um, I don't know if it is a double site or not, but they did it. On the right here is where we actually have some of the nicer of the uh, viewpoint sites. It is a little bit windy here. You can see the flags on the right side. It has been uh, breezy like that the entire time we've been here, but the trade-off that you have is you have the awesome view over the lake, which you might be able to see out of the camera here. It should be up high enough that you could see the water. But yeah, especially being up on the ridge line like that, you're gonna catch a bit of that wind. So it just comes right across the lake, no biggie, but it is what it is. And coming up on the right, that little pop-up right there, tandem axle pop-up, that's my rig. It does just great. One thing that you may have noticed as we're going around the loop is the lack of large trees in the area. And that's just by nature of how this area of Utah is. I'm very certain that a lot of these trees are transplants here. Uh, just 
there's no large trees if they're not brought in. So uh, if you're looking for somewhere that you can use solar, you actually don't need it here because there are hookups. But for some reason, if you did uh, need to use solar here, you can. So the flip side of that being that if you're looking for somewhere that's shady, you're not going to find it. You're going to end up using the power that's at every campsite to power that AC unit. And every site does have these metal fire pit rings. So, and they're very tall also. If you wanted to make yourself a nice big bonfire, you totally could. Uh oh, we got up ahead a runaway trash can coming out the, coming out ahead. I wonder where it came from. I'm gonna jump out right now. I'm gonna put it on that post because I don't know who that is. I don't want them to lose it too far. Okay, well, it was already empty besides a couple things that I picked up, so I just put it on their post so that they would know it blew away, or hopefully know that they that it blew away, and they'll be able to get it back. Being that it blew from that right side, and they're the only ones that are there, pretty good assumption that it's theirs. Whew. I am curious about this trail that's right up here. Um, I like to use the All Trails app, and that trail's not on it, so I might end up going for a walk and just seeing where it goes. The bathrooms here, I've only been into a couple of them, and I don't know, maybe it's because it's really early in the season. They could do with some more maintenance, a little better upkeep. You can see here these little motorcycles and everything around. Everybody's been putting around, having a grand time while they're here. You can also see that the sites are not really close to each other, or at least not, like, you're not on top of your neighbor. So you don't have to worry about, you know, just being like literally right next to someone and having to be super quiet or, you know, if your kids are being noisy, etc. Got a little, speaking of kids, I got a little one here on the road again. Are they watching? No, not really. That's okay. I'm watching them. And as we come towards the end of this loop, I'll go ahead and throw up the, throw up, <laughs> I'll go ahead and put on the screen a uh, speed test for the area, which it's not too bad on its download speeds. You could watch Netflix or whatever. The upload speed, uh, you're not going to be getting away with uploading a ton of large files, that is for sure. And then a bonus fact for you, it actually got its name, Yuba Lake, for the people that built the dam. There was some water rights that uh, they would lose if they didn't build the dam and etc. So very interesting how this area came to be. And that is the campground. So lots of stuff to do here, especially if you're wanting to play in the water or even just go swimming. In. But uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps out the channel. And if you want to see more of these 360 videos for different campgrounds, put it in the comment section down below. Looking forward to your feedback and anything else that you would love to see or know about before you get to a campground. So we'll catch you later. See ya.